Hello everyone, welcome to React Bits. Today, we are here to talk about Flutter 1.7, which is now live. As described in this official Medium post by Flutter team, Flutter 1.7 contains two major features, support for Android X and support for updated Play Store requirements, a 64-bit app. If you have not already upgraded your Flutter, you can just do this by using flutter upgrade command. If you run this command, it should upgrade your flutter version to the latest one. So I have already upgraded my flutter version. So it's just showing that it is already in the latest version flutter 1.7.8. Let us now dive in and see what are available in this latest versions of Flutter. The first major feature is support for Android X. And if you want to create new Flutter application with Android X capabilities, you can just do that using Flutter create dash dash Android X. If you provide this Android X flag, it should create a new Flutter application with Android X support. So let's see. If we now open app build.gradle, we can now see that it has Android X support. And if we see now gradle.properties, there is use Android X and enable Jedifier set to true. And the next major feature of this release is Play Store policy support. So if you're like me, you have got Play Store notice from Play Store that by August 1st, you should provide 64-bit application uh, APK for your mobile apps. So this release of Flutter supports generating Android app bundle, also APK with separate 32-bit and 64-bit APKs. So let's see how to do that. First, let's see by building app bundle. So we can do that by using Flutter build app bundle. So this should build our project for into app bundle, Android app bundle, that should support both 64-bit and 32-bit APK generation that is done automatically by Google Play Store. But if you are not using Play Store, instead you are using some other form to distribute your APK, which doesn't support your app bundle, then you can generate APKs, separate APKs for 32-bit and 64-bit. Let's see how to do that. So you can now see that an app bundle file is generated in the release folder app.aab. So now let's see how we can build APK for 32-bit and 64-bit separately. For that, we can do Flutter build APK dash dash split per ABI. So this should build two separate APKs for 32-bit and for 64-bit. Okay. You can now see that two separate APKs for APK ARM ABI and APK ARM64 are generated. Along with those two major features, there are quite other enhancements. For example, there is a new range slider widget that lets users select minimum and maximum value. And this new range slider can be continuous and discrete. So here, here, I have created a range slider with minimum 0 and maximum 10. So user can select any value between minimum and maximum. And if here I provide divisions, let's say 5 divisions, then this becomes a discrete range slider instead of continuous. So user can select a discrete value 0, 1, 0, 2, 4, 2, 10. Also, this is quite configurable like you can change the active color to color start green let's say see next 
Krishna Kumar widget was also updated to support new material specification guidelines. If we see previously the snack bar, we could customize the content, accent, background, color, etc. So now in Flutter 1.7, two new properties are added in the snack bar. That is elevation. We can provide custom elevation, let's say 50. And then we can provide a shape with, let's say, border radius, circular 50.0. So if we now see the snack bar, it is rounded and has a custom elevation. Beside this, Flutter 1.7 focus on the fundamentals and response to customers reported issues. They say that over 1250 issues were closed in last two months. Lastly, the documentations have also improved. So if there are samples available in the app the new tab is added in the documentation so for form class we have sample in app and to create a sample project with code snippet we can just run flutter create sample widgets dot form dot one my sample so we can try this copy So if we see this, now it is created with the sample code. So my stateful widget, it has a text form field. Let's run this. Well, if we run the project, we ran into some problem. So right now there are some problems. So here it says that in material design, most widgets are conceptually printed on a sheet of material. So if we go down and look at our my stateful widget, there is a problem that there is no scaffold. So directly there is a form. So let me wrap this with new widget scaffold body and let me add a bar. So here we have successfully created a project from provided sample. To learn about all the updates available in Flutter 1.7, check out the official Flutter post in the Medium, the link of which is shared in the description below. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Upgrade your Flutter, create beautiful apps with Flutter. Thank you.